So tell me, you caught your wife flirting with the security guard? Yeah, we went to a, um, a local store. And normally when, when you go to a store with your, with your significant other, yes. you go to the store together. Uh -huh. And she decided to walk off. Yeah. And I'm saying, come on, come on, let's go. Yes. She told me, no, go ahead. Uh -huh. But I faked like I was going. I turned around, I looked, she's talking to him. But after that, we left together. So then, the next time we went to the store, all I see is eye contact and a smile. Yes, sir. And then it happened a third time. Mm. Eye contact and a smile. Mm. So then I started questioning, what's going on here? She says she works with him. But then when I asked her again, what is his name? I never seen him before. I go to your job kind of often. But how, how come I've never seen him? Yeah. And she's a, a parole officer. Mm -hmm. So now it's like I'm questioning it. What you got going on here? Mm. And how many times have you seen this happen? Three times. Three times. Total. Do you think there's respect in your relationship? No, not from her. For me it is, but not from her. Okay, why, um, you, don't, why you don't think she respects you? Me, personally, because I'm going to share this. Could I stand up? Yes, you can. You can. I'm going to share this with mm -hmm. you. She, um, she goes out outside mm -hmm. with nightgowns on. Okay. And she's kind of stocky. Okay. And, <laughs> and women, when they wear nightgowns, most of them are mid Come right there, mid that, yeah. She picked potato, uh, tomatoes. Mm -hmm. And when she bends over. Oh. And I'm kind of like, why in the you going outside like this. Why? Well, mm. Females don't do that. And she kind of like came against me. Got it. Man. And so no people in your neighborhood, your neighbors can see is what you're saying when she bends yeah, over like that. Yeah, she love attention, but that's okay. the wrong kind of attention. Uh. So you told my <laughs> Unlock the Phone investigators that you want to know if Robin was communicating with other men, if Robin blocked him on social media. Or blocked me. Blocked you on social media. And if Robin has been to Walmart while you're at work. And if Robin has been in contact with the security guard. Yes. Got it. Okay. Yes. yes. It, so it, there's some clear things you want to know. Uh, it's a lot I would like to know. Is she using me for financial reasons mm. or not? I'm not trying to bash her or anything. It's just the fact that in a relationship, in a marriage, man, it shouldn't be this. Yeah, I agree. Well, listen, everyone, I think it's time we speak to Robin. So please welcome Robin to the show. How you doing, Robin? I'm good. Nice How are to you? Nice to meet you. Good to meet it's you. It's nice to meet you, too. You look beautiful. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. So how do you feel about what your husband had to share so Oh, far? my God. Karamo, my husband has lost his damn mind. <laughs> <laughs> My no. husband uh, Why you is. Think I lost my mind. My husband is insecure, mm. okay. uh, probably because of his past trauma with women. Mm -hmm. He says he's been cheated on by all the women he's ever been with. Every last one of them. Mm -hmm. uh, but not me. I don't know that yet. Okay. Um, and so he has some control issues also. Okay. And so he wants me with him all the time. And I love it. I love being with him all the time. But I do work. Yes. I go to work from 8 to 5, Monday through Friday. If I'm not at work, I'm with him. Mm. He thinks I'm from 8 to 5. He thinks I'm having sex, <laughs> talking on okay. the phone, okay. being with a man all day long. Mm. Like, 8 to 5, I'm just, I'm just riding. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, come you? on. Wait. But no, if, come on. If come you on now. did what you did in front of me, in front of me, what, okay. made, what make you think I don't think you would do it behind my back? Okay. What he's talking about is I work in the criminal justice field. Yes. I work in a building that has a police building, police in it, and my department in it. We're in the same building. Uh -huh. <clears throat> One day we went to Walmart, and my husband. I like to go look at the clothes. Mm -hmm. I, I just like to see what they have. But the clothes have. you went and looked at wasn't see, your size. See, he won't let me talk. Mm -hmm. They wasn't your size. Mm -hmm. Let me talk. But the clothes you looked at wasn't your size. I want to hear her side of the story. Let me see. I love to look at the clothes they have in Walmart, you know, because they're cheap, but they, they have my size, too. Uh -huh. And so we, we, were, we were going for a birthday party, and we are going to get a cake and the stuff for the birthday party. So we were roaming around, and at some point, I'm... We were going to the cake area to pick up the cake. 
And at some point, you ventured off. I ventured off into the clothing area. That's not your side. All of it's my size, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> yeah. I get in all of it. And so, at some point, we, I, he kept walking. I ventured to the women's clothing. I'm looking at the clothing, and a police officer no, is posted the, up. The, the police okay, officer the one you is talked to. posted up in the women's clothing. He's got okay. full regalia on, okay. ready to arrest somebody. And so I made my way, you know, looking at the clothes, and boom, there he is. And I'm like, hi. And he's like, hi, how are you doing? And I said, I'm doing good. You I don't said, think he was ready to put you in handcuffs? I didn't even think about it. I how, think it was How's the intimacy and romance in your relationship? Let me answer that. Let me answer that. And, and I'm going to get personal on that. It's really not that good because I had cancer, and I have... I have ED. Mm -hmm. That's okay. why I can answer that. Okay. But I still make an effort to. Yes, yeah, she do. She do. To have but what's, intimacy, what's the difference in making intimacy with him? And I. What different would it make? So what, he can have that. Experience. What different would it make if you doing it and then doing the things you're doing? It don't make a, it don't make sense. But I'm not doing anything. That's what you're saying. But that's what we're here for. Okay. Well, we're about to find out the truth right and, now. And, and that, so I'm going to share this. I love my wife. I love my wife dearly. But it's the decision she made yeah. make me go that way. Yeah, I hear that. Well, True, you want to know if Robin has been communicating with any other men. Robin says she is not. My Unlock the Phone investigator searched her text and found that she is telling the truth. Mm -hmm. True, you want to know if Robin had blocked you on social media. Robin says she did not. Mom locked the phone. Investigators searched her apps, and she did not block you. Told She's you. Telling the truth. I told you. True wants to know if Robin has been visiting the Walmart in question while at work. Robin <laughs> says she is not. Mom locked the phone. Investigators searched her GPS locations and found that she is not telling the truth in this one. She was there last Friday at 11 a.m. That, 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 I think that's, that, may be the, that may be the one. Right, when I was I cooking be the you one. greens <laughs> and a roast. Right? Did you have greens and a roast on yeah, Friday? that's true. And I'm, I told you I was going to get it? Like I told, I told, like I told okay. Karamo, I okay. didn't come here to bash you. I came for the truth. Okay. And you're getting the truth. Yeah, you're getting it. I came for the truth. Okay. So, True, you want to know if Robin has been in contact with the security guard at Walmart. Robin says she has not. My unlock the phone investigator searched her phone and found that she is telling the truth. There is no messages or contact information from the security guard in her phone. I told you. However, you did give us the, give my producer's security guard's full name, work number, and email. Yes. But you told me you didn't know him. When they called. That's a lie. Listen. Listen. They wanted to find out more. Uh -huh. So I did my police work and went in my employee directory and dug up this person's name mm. and I gave it to them. Got it. Let's go. Well, um, it looks like we're getting a ping. Our producers actually reached out to the security guard who wanted to share a message with you, True. Mm -hmm. Take a listen. So I. I do recall running into a heavyset lady a couple of months ago at Walmart. At the time, I didn't even know her name, but I'd seen her a couple of times at uh, the building because we share the same office building. And the first time I called her was this week. I don't have any type of relationship with uh, Miss Robin. She isn't flirtatious with me, and I, I met her once at Walmart, and that was just her stopping by to say hello. And I never thought anything about it until I got the email about this whole incident. So to be clear, he called you to see if this show was a scam because yes. he didn't know if this was like some scam well, or something that's happening. We work in the same company. I don't mean he can go number. into the employee directory and but, look at the name. But I'll tell you this, because I had my producers grill him in every single way mm -hmm. possible, and your wife is not messing around with the security guard at all. They have no okay. relationship okay. at all. There's nothing at all. 
There's nothing at all here. There is some text between you two that I did find that I did want to talk to. Between me and mm -hmm. Robin? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. Thank you. Oh. I, can, I can tell you that. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, oh, you, oh, oh. You said, I know. Oh, there it is. I know. I, like I told you, I'm aggressive. Very uh -huh. aggressive. Mentally and verbally. And I kept every one of them. It says here, you mean nothing to me. It's the second time you muted me, and God knows how many times you have met that behind my back or in your office. Mm -hmm. um, you are nasty, and we don't have sex. You nasty. Who wants a woman like that? I done said some things. And then oh, she yeah. says, I I'm not meeting any men. You got a good husband, and you go in. Oh, yeah. You go in, in, okay. in. Yeah. Come on, this is about me. I don't, I don't hide nothing. And like I told you, I'm aggressive, very aggressive. Yeah. You know, but and just by acknowledging it, it doesn't make it any better. It doesn't. Because it doesn't. I understand you're seeking reassurance because of your past trauma. Right. But while you're seeking this reassurance, you're also damaging the re relationship you have. Mm -hmm. Like you have a pretty good, a really great woman. The fact that she would stand by you and the fact that you're accusing her of talking to this. Mm -hmm. Oh, and that's she could have any moment left you or pushed you away. But she's still sticking by your side. She's still standing here with you, and she's mm -hmm. still trying to show you that I'm going to do whatever you ask me to. Every example you've given of, like, I don't want you to be at that store, so she's not going anymore. You say, I don't want you sending these filters to anybody else, so she stops sending the filters. And nothing is enough because of your own insecurities. So what is it that you think, in your mind, your wife can do to help your trust issues? I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, Karamo. I, I really don't know because... I'm glad you said that. Because I don't. the thing is that there's nothing she can do. No. There's nothing she can do. Right. There's nothing she can do. It's not okay that these women cheated on you because I said, just in, if there was a woman in front of me, I would have said the same thing to her. It's not okay that you've had women betray you and hurt you. And now, as you've gotten older, compounded with health issues, it feels even more like, well, what is my worth? And, because that's what this conversation is about. These women have challenged your worth. And even though you have a woman right here who's telling you, you everything to her, through everything, she's staying with you. She went and got your food. She's, she's not going to certain stores. She's doing everything for you. You still don't believe you're worthy of this woman. And so, therefore, you are verbally abusing her. And trying to push me away. And trying to push her away. Okay. Can you commit to your wife and say that um, I'll talk to you about what I'm feeling and what I've dealt with in my past? I can't. I can commit to, to talking to you about some things, some problems I'm having. And really, I, can, I, can, I know you can help me get over the past. Um, and there's some things I may, little bitty things I may still deal with. But I can tell you this, I love you dearly. I love you too. Mm, good. good. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, listen, I'll tell you this. I know you're looking for true love. But you have to love true first. Wow. You got that? Yeah. You got that? Yeah. If you can be vulnerable with your wife and talk about this and really share what's going on, every time you want to accuse her, switch it to you sharing what's going on in your okay. past. It's going to help you heal. Okay. Okay? You deserve that healing. And okay. you didn't deserve anything that these women did to you. It's just the truth of it. Okay. All right? Wish Thank you the best of luck. Appreciate it. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you. Uh, I just want you to know, I'm sorry for those text messages, and I promise I won't do it again. From now on, it's gonna be just me and you. All I right. promise you. I love you. I'm with you. Like I said, we. This is our last hurrah for us together for the rest of our lives, and you have to stop doing that. Right. Trust me. I love I thank you. Thank you. I thank you for being there for me. And I'm with you. And I won't do it again, I promise. <laughs> I love you. Want more Unlocked Phones, DNA Reveals, and Family Drama? Then make sure you're subscribed to the Karamo Show YouTube.